What's up guys, Sleepy Jirachi here, and today I'm going to show you something, continuing on my video from yesterday, the whole Pokegen thing with only an SD card, that was fantastic. And Kazo has actually taken this in a different direction. I want to say a step further, but it's actually a step in a different direction. Um, I am going to show you how to replace entire boxes. That is a huge deal, obviously bigger than previous Pokegen, this is going to teach you how to basically re-implement, re redo an entire box. And it's it's a rather um, self-explained kind of thing. It's called PC Edit, and obviously the link to the thread itself will be in the description. Kazo War is the one who did this, and um, I'm just going to show you guys how, so go ahead down in the description, the PC Edit link has all this stuff in there um, you can also download the mega the mega in the description which will have everything you need so basically once you get that and download all that stuff you will have this here this is what it results as this is what you'll get you'll get PC edit and it will have PC in PC out and the readme the readme explains what to do take these two things and just stick them over here. That's all you gotta do. This is the SD card. The Okay, a lot of you were confused about this. If your computer doesn't have an SD card slot, then you can't plug in your SD card. This is, right here, is the SD card. That's just the SD card. This is it. You click on the root, which is the very top folder. Don't go in any folders. Um, I don't have a DCIM folder in mine. And some people said it, some things worked better if you deleted it, so you might want to get rid of that, save back up your pictures, whatever. Um, so put the PC in dot bin and the PC out dot bin in that folder, in the SD folder, okay? The root, the very top, no, not in any folders, just in the specific SD folder in your computer. Hopefully that's less confusing than all you guys who were very confused yesterday about this. Um, and once you do that, you essentially have this stuff on your 3DS so we can switch over to our 3DS take the SD card out go ahead and plug it in to the um, plug it into your much of Macombs your friggin 3DS and you will now start up the game and I'm going to show you how to do this PC in PC out it's kind of complicated but not really um, so you want to start up your game. This is kind of the same as the previous Pokegen tutorial. Um, go ahead and start up your game. Check your boxes. But this isn't just slot one. This is all of your boxes you can edit. So we have a Hoopa here. And what we're gonna try to do today is change this Hoopa into a Jirachi and get rid of this bad egg. That is our goal right now. So with this still open, we're gonna need to do some prep work here. Um, basically, not too complicated. Go Turn off your Wi-Fi. On the right side of your 3DS, there's a yellow light and a switch near it. Yes, I assume, I hope. I hope you can all find this. Um, Flick it up to turn off the yellow light. Once the yellow light is off, that means your internet is now off. And then you want to open the browser. And this is how you... You won't have to do this after, but you will have to turn off the Wi-Fi. But I'm just going to set up the bookmark specifically. Go to URL. And then the first one that you want is bit. And this is case sensitive. So you have to make sure you get this correct. bit.ly slash one, lowercase y, uppercase r, uppercase u, lowercase u, lowercase l, uppercase b. Okay, that is what you want. Hit confirm. Okay, it's gonna tell you that your thing is off. Hit add. That adds this page to the bookmark which is what you want. And what you should also do, now when you go to this, when you go to your bookmarks, 
It might not be named just because of you not being online. So go to your bookmarks, hit this little thing, and you can change this, make it say PC out, just so you know, because we're also going to add PC in to your bookmarks. Now go ahead, URL, and bit.ly again. But obviously this time it's going to be not the same. Uh, one, uppercase J, PCY, all lowercase, PCY, and then uppercase G, uppercase T. Okay, go ahead and add that page to your bookmarks as well. And it would be best to rename it to PC in. Now you're ready to really do some crazy stuff here. Um, this is what I would recommend now. Go to your anchor wrench thing that I always call an anchor for unknown reasons. Clear history, clear cookies. Definitely make sure you do that. That helps a lot. Um, it's now disabled. Now go into menu, go to bookmarks. Now when you're in bookmarks, turn your Wi-Fi back on. Make sure the yellow light turns back on. Okay. Your yellow light should now be back on. You flip the switch up and the yellow light does show up on the right side of the bottom piece of your 3DS. And you're going to want to go to PC out. Now PC out should load and the way you know it's working is it will show you some code stuff real quick. And then it's going to turn green. Like that. And then it should turn green. There we go. See that turning green? That is a step in the right direction. Now. That will happen. It says an error has occurred. That's fine. That's fine. Just shut down your 3DS. Unless you want to go back into your game and save. But it's not. It won't. It's not a big deal. Uh, take the SD card out of your 3DS. Again, this only works for the old 3DS. It works on a 3DS. It works on a 2DS. Okay, it works for any of the older DS's. New 3DS will not work. Now we're going to switch back over to my desktop. And basically, what you're going to do is... Bring up your PK Hex, which is included in the download in the description. And also, there is a link to the thread so you guys can keep up to date. PK Hex is updated all the time. Huge shout out to Sires M and Kefotix for their work on that. And now you should have this PC data.bin in your SD card. It created this file. You can just drag this into your PK Hex and it will load the box binary. And now here's what we have we have this Hoopa, which we are going to change into. A Jirachi and we have this bad egg which is going to crash PK hex or something um, basically right click on the bad egg and delete it BAM it's gone no it's not but what you can do is this here and then delete that okay so you can click view on something else set it on top of the bad, bad egg and then hit delete uh, PKX has trouble handling eggs and stuff just because it's not in the species calculator. Um, but that's okay, that's okay. This is a legal PK hex. Um, again, I said this before, I'll say it again. This says PK hex. If you want to use a hack thing, okay, I'm gonna show you how to do that really quickly. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Okay. This one itself is outdated, but um, change the E in PK hex to an A. I'm not going to do it for this because I already have, I just copy pasted it and made a second one with an A. And that will open PK hex, which allows you to pretty much set any ability. But right now, our only plan is to change this into a Jirachi. And that's pretty much that. All it has is hyperspace hole. All of this interesting, interesting stuff. And then you're going to want to hit set. And now here, if you go over, oh, make sure your box interface is on. If you go into tools and toggle box interface, make sure that's on so you can see the boxes. You can edit any of your boxes. You can go through all of your boxes and edit anything you want. Add tons of stuff. Uh, this is all problematic that you don't want to look at. 
Obviously, I guess there's going to be some glitches with this program itself, but basically, I just made this Jirachi here, okay? And now we're going to hit File. It says on the thing to go to Tool and then Toggle Box. No, it says go to Tool and Save Box Data Plus Plus Plus. Now, I don't actually... Right here. And you're going to want to hit export all boxes yes and now we're going to yeah save it under your SD card PC data dot bin hit save replace it and now it should have replaced the PC data dot bin so there you go tools save box data plus plus and this is our new PC data dot bin uh, you can't edit your bot your party or like any of your other stuff because it's not a save editor It's literally just an empty. It, it just puts boxes in an empty save and that's how it edits that This is the PC data. We now exported that so now once it's back on your SD card We're going to go ahead and take the SD card out Switch on over back to our 3ds. We're going to stick the SD card in the 3ds And now your SD card should now be in your 3DS and you're going to reload up your game. Okay. Go ahead into your game. Once you get to like right in front of your box and whatever. Like this. Home. Now turn off your Wi-Fi again, flick the switch up so the yellow light turns off, hit browser, uh, if you want just to be safe, you can clear your history and cookies every time you do this. You don't exactly have to, it's really dependent on what you are looking at on the internet and stuff, but it helps, it's just uh, like a fail safe kind of thing. Now with your internet still off, go to bookmarks. And now once you're in bookmarks, turn your internet back on. Now that your internet is back on, click on PC in. This will load PC in. Now we have to wait for it to load. The music, of course, is by Pokey Remix Studio. Continuing on from the previous music that we were listening to. I like to have background music, especially for videos like this, because if you're sitting there stressed out trying to get this stuff to work, it's always nice to have a little music in the background. Okay, executing. There we go, an error has occurred. Now we are going to go back into our game. And there we go, we now have Jirachi instead of Hoopa in box one. Now I could have added a million Jirachis, I got rid of the bad egg, which is what a lot of you would like to know how to do. Uh, I could have added tons of Jirachis, I could have made Kyogres, I mean look at this, well, you can do, you can make whatever you can make in PK Hex. So you can make these unbound Hoopas if you want in your box. Or, uh, well, some of these are caught in game and stuff, but like, you know what I mean, you can make a permanent mega Swamper named Denise. So. Denise with Sap Sipper and Tackle and Water Gun. So that's power right there. Uh, you can pretty much do anything you want with this. And if you have any questions, again, leave them in the description below. I will try to answer as many as I can as I have in previous videos. I really hope this video helped you guys out. If it did help, make sure to leave a like. Um, I, I really hope you guys have fun with this. Obviously, there's going to be a tons of questions. People always have problems, and I will try my best to help as many of you as I can. But... This is even bigger than the previous Poke Gen. This is huge stuff right now. And if you can do this, I mean, if you want to, you could even switch back to your, um, switch back to your PK Hex over here. And even without any of that stuff, you can go to your box and keep continuing to mess with it. And you don't even need the SD card in there. And then once you're ready to export it, just put your SD card in, hit the save box data again. And it'll save the box data. You can make anything. You can literally go to uh, B Drill. Right? Right? B Drill. I don't know. Name it like Shino. And you can just make it a permanent mega with the form changer. I went over more, most of the, uh, 
PK Hex stuff in the previous video, so if you want to check out my other PokeGen video about halfway through, I start reviewing how to edit all this PK Hex stuff, okay? Uh, right here is how you change this. This is the shiny button. Uh, you hit re-roll. This is how you change the genders. You just click on this. Um, again, of course, if you do do this, uh, you can check your caught Pokemon, any Pokemon that you previously caught, like for example, Orbs was my Pokemon in my Alpha Sapphire Let's Play, and you can go to your OT Misk, and this is you, this is your trainer, as long as you caught this in your game, and this is your Pokemon, like this Orbs is, this was my starter. This is your secret ID, this is your trainer ID, okay? So that's how you do that. That's how you check that, I've had a lot of people ask about that, okay? So once you have that secret ID, trainer ID, so let's say the secret ID is 17816 and the trainer ID is 47815. So just change 47815 and then your secret ID to this. Make sure your OT is correct and you essentially control the world. You have all the control that you could possibly imagine. You could literally put Precipice Blades on a Jirachi if you wanted to. Set its PP all the way up to 3. Uh, I don't know. Stats and stuff. Uh, all this stuff. I know it's kind of small on my big desktop, but I'm just showing you guys, like, this is this is crazy stuff that you can mess with. Change where it's from. Make it an egg. Change it not to an egg. Friendship changes to the house counter. Uh, make it cured of PK. Infected with PK virus. Change the friendship. Change the item to literally anything you want. You want a discount coupon? You throw that shit in there, man. Yeah, you'll have a discount coupon in Oros. Nickname, make sure you click that, and then you can change it to anything. Like, Sleepy, hello? Make it shiny. I don't know what you want, but, like, there you go. That's crazy stuff. That is crazy stuff. And I hope you guys really, really, um, really enjoyed this video. I hope this helped. Um, tons of, tons of Pokegen stuff coming out, and you guys have so much power now. The power is in your hands to make sweet things, like this Mega Beedrill, or... Or, or, um, let's see, how about this? It's some, some stuff that you guys may not think about. Darmanitan, he has an alternate form that's called Zen Mode. You can easily mess with that. You can take advantage of this and give it Sheer Force. Sheer Force Zen Mode Darmanitan. It's a special attacker. It's crazy. It's crazy. You can do a lot of stuff. Now, you have to make sure, I got a lot of questions about this too. Make sure it's legal if you want to use it online. Okay? It has to be legal. And when I say legal, I don't mean just give it moves that it might know. I mean you legitimately have to make it from the correct location. If it's from black, if it's from white, it needs to be caught in the correct place where it could be caught. It needs to be in a Pokeball that it could have been caught in. It needs to be met at a legit level. It's a lot easier to just say most of these things are hatched. So, for example, if you go into, um... What you should do... Very, very good advice right now. Go hatch an egg, take that egg and put it, I mean hatch the egg, and then take that egg and make m copies of it, and you can send it to any Pokemon and just say you hatched it in Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, say you hatched this dino in Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, you could say you hatched anything, you could say you hatched, not Deoxys, obviously no legends, but like, um, Diggersby, you could say you hatched it, and then you can pretty much do whatever you want, and all this stuff will be preset because it's already hatched, like for example, if I go over to Orbs, all this stuff is from when I got him as a starter. That's all really interesting stuff. Uh, like this, my beautiful, beautiful ace was caught on Route 104. Stuff like that. Just legit Pokemon that you can edit. And I could max out his IVs. This was a story caught Pokemon. Stuff like that. Fly, double team. I could give him a legit set and all this stuff. Tons of fun to have with this. Um... I just hope you guys have a lot of fun with this. If you do have any questions, make sure to leave them below. Make sure to leave a like. Subscriptions to me would help, of course, because I love you guys. And I hope you guys just have so much fun with this. This is huger than the other one. This you can do so much with. And maybe even will be easier. I hope that this tutorial was pretty clear, pretty thorough. And I will see you guys in the next video. So goodbye and thank you for watching. Love you guys.